Today in the news, we got three things that make Intel's Arc GPUs impressive as hell and a little looksy at the discrete card itself. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. All right. So ever since the middle of 2018, and yes, that's how long it's been, we've been waiting for Intel to bring out their own line of discrete graphics cards. I mean, sure, we got some integrated graphics in 2020, and DG1 made its first appearance in 2021, but I'm talking real discrete graphics, you know? Something built and made for content creation and gaming. And last year, that's exactly what the company announced, Arc Alchemist. Well, today is the official unveiling of the brand new line of GPUs. Well, for laptops. I know, I know, it's a little disappointing that we don't have information on the desktop variants, but hey, they said it was coming in the summer, so we're not too far off. In any case, with Arc Alchemist, the company is introducing a couple of features that are pretty amazing. First, let's talk Media Engine. Now, you might have heard me rant on AMD 6500 XT, and that's because it basically doesn't have a media engine. You can hardly encode anything, and that makes it a bad all-arounder card in my opinion. Well, the opposite is true here with Arc. It has all of the decoders and encoders you would want. The XE media engine supports up to 8K 60 frames per second at 12-bit color for decoding, which is insane, and up to 8K 10-bit encoding. Both AMD and Nvidia barely touch 8K30. But that's not it. While everyone now supports AV1 decoding, for the first time on a GPU, Intel's Alchemist supports AV1 encoding. The XE Media Engine would apparently do that 50 times faster than software AV1 encoding. AV1 is 30% more efficient than H.265, which itself is already 50% more efficient than H.264. So super high quality streams and videos are coming in thanks to Intel. But that's all technical stuff for content creation. What about gaming? Well, some of you were asking if Intel would have a technology like AMD's FreeSync or Nvidia's G-Sync. You know, a technology that would prevent screen tearing during gaming. Well, they do. First, they'll support Adaptive Sync, which is the equivalent of AMD's FreeSync. So that's great. But they also introduced something called Smooth Sync. And I can't believe no one has thought of something like that before. So if you have a monitor with a fixed refresh rate and you want it to have the fastest frame rate possible, you would disable VSync and unfortunately suffer the consequences. You would have screen tearing. Well, with Smooth Sync, you'd still have screen tearing, but instead of a jarring split in your screen, Smooth Sync applies a dithering filter at the cutoff of the frame. That means that the tearing should be a lot less noticeable like you can see here. The tear is still there, it's just less noticeable. And lastly, for the things that caught my attention, we got Intel's Arc Control. It's their version of AMD's Radeon software or Nvidia's GeForce Experience. Honestly, Control looks pretty full featured for a first iteration. You can monitor performance metrics like GPU power, temperatures, uh, clock speeds, and VRAM, and you'll have some overclocking features. Now keep in mind that overclocking seems to be a desktop only feature, so we'll have to wait for that. You also have streaming features to stream to third party websites like YouTube and Twitch, and features similar to Nvidia's broadcast. Something where you can blur the background of your webcam, remove it, or auto frame the camera. At this point, Intel's Arc Control seems to have more features than AMD's software. And they even got to throw some shade at Nvidia with the whole no login required. So yeah, those are the things that I found most interesting about Intel's upcoming Arc GPUs. If you want the specs or a technical analysis on those GPUs, I'm sure someone else is going to have a video about it as soon as the embargo lifts. All right, this is the reveal for the discrete card. It's my first time watching it. Okay, pretty big chip. Okay, PCB, we got some traces. All right, let's see if it looks like the leaks. So far, so good. We got the rounded aesthetic. Comes the heat pins. Ooh, that's different. Oh, wow. Hey, it's completely different from the leaks. Hey. It looks good. Wait, limited edition? 
Ooh, maybe another OEM card will have the same look as the leaks. I like it. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk ARC GPUs in the comment section. As usual, you can click on these things that appear on the screen. There's the latest video and the subscribe button. Don't forget to stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.